I look back and I go, oh my gosh, I was like a kid and I feel like I had no choice. Uh, the director kind of just said, oh, so we're doing, we're all going to be nude in this scene. And there was no uh, exercises that would sort of map where people felt comfortable being touched. I said to myself, I can't, I can't do this anymore. Like, it's, it's ruining my mental health. It's, it's making me hate performing. These actors are at home on stage, but they know what it's like to feel uncomfortable behind the scenes. In community theatre, um, you just trust that the people leading the companies or directing the shows have the know-how and the access to do those consent practices, and a lot of them don't. Emma Skalitsky is a sexual assault survivor. She's written a play called Medusa Waking, which weaves themes of trauma and healing. It was important to Ms Skalitsky that consent culture was part of the production process. People kind of go, well, intimacy direction is kind of like this new thing and shouldn't directors be able to do it anyway? But it is a particular technical style that enhances a show. The Hobart cast worked with Tasmania's Sexual Assault Support Service to better understand the issue. Can you touch, hold Noah's wrists? Are you comfortable yeah. with that yeah. as well? Natalie Venatacci directed Medusa Waking's Hobart season this month. She worked to ensure cast members felt supported and comfortable, especially during intimate scenes. To make sure that we were constantly asking questions to make sure that their mental state and their physical state was safe. As an actor, Ms Venetacci has experienced sexual harassment and bullying and felt she wasn't supported. And it needs to change. We need to be holding people accountable and listening to people when they say that they've been assaulted or harassed in, this, in the rehearsal or theatre space. Actor and director Benedicta McGowan works with teenagers and young adults through the local university theatre society. She takes a collaborative approach. It's really not difficult to just say to somebody, are you comfortable doing this, as opposed to, you are doing this. You know, it's a real small mental shift. Andy Aisbert, who produces queer theatre, believes all theatre practitioners should be educating themselves and fostering supportive culture. I think there needs to be policies, company policies surrounding those issues that need to be communicated uh, very early on in the rehearsal process. The Media, Entertainment and Arts Alliance produced intimacy guidelines for stage and screen late last year. They're common sense. Don't assume anything in your human contact. We're in a workplace. Um, everyone deserves to go home feeling physically and mentally empowered. Creating safe scenes both on and off the stage. Selena Ross, ABC News.